Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to some video, and you may be wondering why I have a box of Swiss rolls right here. Well, let me show you. So, as many of you probably know when you're soldering, hopefully this will show up on camera as you solder, it, um, a lot, the flux in the solder, if you're using a flux core, it, um, vaporizes there, and it creates that smoke that you see, and that's not really that harmful for you, but if you're using a leaded solder like I am, this is Kester, I believe it's 16. 40 maybe it might be 6337 um, that lead is not good for you <laughs> just like lead paint so what I have done in an attempt to make soldering safer for me is I have taken this box here uh, this was, this uh, just happened to be a Swiss roll box that fit perfectly um, and I took this 60 millimeter fan so hopefully yeah, the lights not showing up over here but um, I got this on Banggood it was like two dollars to 60 millimeter PSU fan and I put it in this box and glued things on here to prevent air coming back out and I also took uh, this thing here this is a little like five dollar carbon filter off of Banggood as well and I originally had uh, a piece stretched over the back of the box here but the fan wasn't strong enough to blow it through it because this is meant for maybe like a vacuum cleaner so I had to cut a hole and then I put um, can't really see it, but there's one up top, half covering half of the box like this, and then the net, there's one farther in on the bottom half and one on the top half, so the air can still flow through. And I'm not exactly how sh um, sure, exactly sure how effective it is at getting filtering at all, but it at least does um, pull the smoke through, so you're not breathing any in, so it's at least directing it away from you if it's not doing any filtering at all. And now this fan comes with a little connector. It's probably, oh, I forget what it was, but I just cut it off and I put a little XT60 on just for batteries. Um, and I was too lazy to heat shrink, so I just uh, electrical taped it. And it's a 12 volt fan, so it's rated for that. Um, but you can also use a 2S battery. As you can see here, if you want to get lower speeds for quieter, say if you're filming something, but it won't be as effective in bringing in air. And then you can also use 3S here, a little bit louder, but a lot stronger. And I also have run it on a 4S, even though it's not, it's only rated for 12 volts. You can see, it really picks up the fan then. And I left it on for about 10 minutes on 4S, and it only got slightly warm on the motor. So it should be okay, but two and three definitely S are fine. And I also plugged a battery meter in, uh, battery meter in to the mounts lead while I left it on for about an hour and I monitored the voltage drop and it looks like it might be drawing about 20 milliamps something it's really low current draw so on just say something like a 3s 1300 it's the old one I have uh, that's gonna last I don't know two days of full full-on usage there so let me just give you uh, readjust the camera and I'll give you a quick example showing it working while I'm soldering uh, I won't be soldering actually anything, I'll just put putting it in there and you'll see the smoke go through. Alright, here we are. So I'm just going to plug in a 3S, because that's better, I think works best. A little bit louder, but it keeps away from you, so let's just say you're soldering something here. It will get in the way a little bit, but you know, safety first. Especially with a camera like this, I can't really show it. But um, you can see, hopefully. It sucks almost all of it in from right here. A little bit's escaping. So if I get a little closer, say your soldering wire is here, it gets 100% all the smoke. And I don't see any of the smoke coming in from the other side, or coming out, so it might be just dispersing into the box. I don't know, it might be getting filtered, but see over to the side. It sucks it in pretty well, and up top it'll pull it down pretty well as well. Let's pull it up. So it definitely does work pretty well at sucking the soldering so hopefully this makes soldering a little bit safer and I'll leave a link down below to my Patreon if you wish to help support the channel and you enjoyed this video. I'm not saying this is a professional solution um, such as a vent if you worked in a factory but with the amount of soldering I do nowadays for reviewing and building I just felt like it would be worthwhile to try and make something to um, help out to make it a little bit safer because lead isn't good and if you can do it. This was like five bucks to make. Why not? So that was the end of the video. Please subscribe if you want already. Leave your comments down below and I will see you in the next video. Bye.